Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now this week we're going to be looking at how you can identify your users using one of the Chrome APIs. Now to do this you need to add, need to add a couple of strings to your permissions array but other than that you should be able to just add this straight away. Now what it does is it lets you find out the logged in email address and ID of your users within Chrome. So if they have had, if they've logged into Chrome and you know put in their email address you can actually grab this and use this as part of your authentication or just a way of identifying your users. Now one thing that you need to look for, if the user has sync enabled, so like the Chrome sync, um, there's a slight different way you need to do this, but I'll show you um, as we look at the code. Now first I'm gonna show you an example extension that I've made that uses this. Now it's just a, a pop-out page that will grab this information. So it grabs a the email address and an ID, and it's just gonna show this into a text area when I click the extension here. So if I click it now, okay, so I've just enlarged it a little bit here, but you can see that it's found my email address and my ID. Now you can use this now to link up um, certain types of, uh, you know, data within your extension with this email address and then send that to a backend server or even using your local storage. So it's quite a useful way of identifying users without having to make them jump through hoops to log in and, you know, different things like that. So if we look at the code for what's involved, so first we'll take a look at the manifest. So as you can see, I have um, two um, strings in my permission array here. So I've just got identity and then identity.email. Now this is using manifest version three, but it's very similar to manifest version two as well. In fact, if I change this to version two and change this to browser action, you can see everything's working exactly the same over in the corner there. So it's just, um, the same code is just the way you would set up your manifest file is slightly different. So if I change this back to version three, all I need to do is change that and then remove um, browser underscore action to change it back to action. So that's what the manifest file looks like. So it's just, as we say, identity and identity.email. And then all we have here is a, I would say a pop-out.html, which has a text area and this little pop-out JavaScript file. And then we look at um, popout.js. Now what you will find is if the user has sync enabled you can grab the information just using this just here um, and that will you know update and display it so I've got it logging to the console as well but if they don't have sync enabled so for example on my account over here I have sync turned off um, just to show this example, but you know that's just a way of using Chrome across different devices. So you can you know log in, have your password saved, and so on. Um, but if you don't have sync enabled, this version here won't work. It will just return an empty object. So they'll have the email and ID, but they'll just be empty. So if you want to be able to grab this information for people that have sync turned on or off, you can just add this little um, parameter into your call here that just says account status any. But if you know that people have sync enabled, you can just use this one down here. But I'd say this one's probably a better method to use because it will you know, work for more users unless you specifically need sync uh, turned on. Now, it's just a quick video to show how you can use this permission. I'll uh, put a link in the description to a GitHub gist um, of this code so you can just paste it in and start using it right away. Um, but just be sure to remember that you need to add these permissions into your manifest file as well. Um, otherwise that should work and you know let you start identifying your users more effectively. If you've got any questions on how to use this, you know, feel free to leave a comment on this video. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.